Javi Dinamani here for Digital Trends. I am here with Jeremy Liu, who is the founder and CEO of Jarvish, which is a smart motorcycle helmet. And as a former rider and a rider with a helmet now, like I'm a passenger, I think uh, these are valuable. This is amazing to crash detection, keeping the person safe, especially riders are always in remote areas. Yes. Tell us more about this helmet and why it's safety's number one. So. Right. So uh, let me tell you a story. When we start building out the helmets, we want to improve the safety of the riders. So we want to, uh, there's a lot of uh, situation that the riders encounter when they have accidents, especially in the middle of nowhere, right. and especially at night, they don't know where they are. So we want to be able to create a helmet that's able to detect this kind of accidents okay. automatically. Right? Nice. So we create the smart helmet that is able to uh, detect the crash detection and also to alert the ambulance or emergency center right. and also the nest of kin where okay. and when they have an accident. Okay, perfect. So that means um, if I could be listed as the emergency contact, it will also contact me That's right. if someone I know is getting hurt, correct? If as long as I'm listed. Yes, the right? control is on the rider itself. Okay, perfect. And then, so tell me what happens. There, It looks like there is a camera here. So once an accident happens, is it if it detects something's happening and that's when it makes the call like what if it's a false alarm how do we avoid that there are a lot of applications nowadays and I doing the crash detection mechanism but the problem is it's not accurate enough Correct. even if it's like only 90 percent accuracy you still got like 10 percent of inaccuracy okay. will create false alarm right uh, we have the camera that's the reason we have the camera right. and we have the AI system inside to do the last minute check if the rider is really having accidents. Okay. And if it is, we'll pass on the GPS information together with the video, the okay. la last few minutes video block to the emergency center and also to the next team. Okay, nice. So I have a Shoei helmet right now and it's obviously not smart. It's a, it's a obviously safe helmet, but if I had to incorporate this, how does that work? Is it something that's compatible with in terms of your software system, is it compared to every helmet? Because the, the professional helmet that we are making is has very strict homologation standard. Okay. So the way to do it is we need to select a helmet that has already all the homologation certified. Okay. And then build all electronic inside and resubmit the homologation again. Okay. So it is a very complicated process. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> and are we looking, are these the only ones I see, like the carbon fiber, which makes it light, I guess, and in intense durable, is, oh yeah, and durability as well, but is there any other kind of helmet that's on the market? Right now, we have all range of smart helmets. Uh, we firstly co-branding co with a European uh, helmet company called Laser Helmet. Okay. And together we have already shipped more than 5,000 of smart helmets in Taiwan. Okay. And, and this is the first time we announced outside Taiwan, and we are now at Kickstarter. Okay. So we have the low range, the Bluetooth helmet, up to the XAR with okay. the AR and all the communication system integrated. Okay, so speaking of communication, can you talk to this helmet? We, yeah, you can talk to the helmet. Okay. We have the building, more than 30 building voice coming inside. Okay. So the response is uh, microseconds. Okay. And we have also integrated with Siri, if you're okay. holding the iPhone. Okay. Also, we have integrated with OK Google, if you're using Android phone. Correct. And, and in addition to that, we work very closely with Amazon, and now we are building the Amazon Alexa. Okay, nice, that's awesome. So, tell me about the battery life, because, I mean, I think we'd have to charge it once in a while, but how long would it last on we, battery? We have two ways of charging the battery. Uh, the XAR can last four hours, okay. and uh, the, the one without the HUD, the Jarvis X, can last six hours operation. Nice. And you can extend the battery hours having the wireless charging. Uh, we can extend that by additional two hours. Okay, nice. That's pretty cool. Like the and is that like a backpack or? Uh, yes, yeah, so you put uh, the the power bank in a okay. in a backpack, and okay. you can attach by magnet to the helmet, and we we'll do the wireless charging. Nice. So where when can we expect this in the market, and where? Uh, we expect we are now a Kickstarter, and we are soon transform uh, to Indian Google in demand. Very nice. Uh, the job actually will start delivering in April. Okay. Because right now we are spending for homologation. Yeah. For the SAR, we are doing the, the final prototyping okay. and we should be able to deliver in September this year. Nice. Well, congratulations. One last question. The visors. 
So I have one of those that's reflective <laughs> yes. when it's sunny. Yes. Can you can you switch a regular visor to this? Oh uh, yes, you can select the visors uh, you want. We have the option items. We have the electric plate visor, and we have also uh, tried to work with transition. Okay. So we have a uh, auto color changing visor for for our bakers. Very cool. Thank you again. This was really insightful. Thanks for watching. For more information, do log on to digitaltrends.com/ces.